But as he fights in the hospital, the city is rallying around his legend. Let's bring in ABC 7's Nate Ryan with the details. Nate. Yeah, Eric, the rumble in the Northeast tonight. Always a good one when Chapin and Andrus get together on the hardwood. But missing from tonight's installment, the man responsible for the rivalry in the first place. Andrus head coach Jim Forbes, who's been away from the sidelines since December 3rd while hospitalized due to complications from COVID-19. Now, Coach Forbes is fighting every day to return back to the game he's given his life to here in El Paso. But as he fights in the hospital, the city and the game are fighting with him. Though Jim Forbes isn't physically with his Andrus basketball team right now, his players are still treating it as such. All the time. I mean, basically, Andrus is about defense, you know? And that's, that's all Coach Forbes right there. Like if we're slow in the game or something, get our heads right, talk about them. Yeah, it gives us energy to talk about them. But interim coach Eugene Costello knows that while Forbes adds motivation to his team, his presence is still missed. It's more than just basketball, especially with Coach Forbes and us. It's about how many lives he's impacted along the way. That's why a lot of hearts are heavy, especially on our team and within the city as well. After playing at Bel Air High School, then UTEP, Forbes represented the United States in the 1972 Olympic Games. His 72 team famously did not accept their silver medals after protesting a loss to the Soviet Union. But you might not know about his playing accolades. You could talk to him for a day, a whole day. You could follow him around. And you'll never know how great a player he was because you'll never talk about him. That's the way Mr. Forbes is. He does not talk about himself. But he will talk all day and night about the many athletes he's had. Because Forbes came home, where he's the only coach in the modern era to take two schools, both Riverside and Andrus, to the state Final Four. Jim's uh, association with basketball in this community goes back uh, more than 50 years. Does it get any better for someone than to star as a, as a prep player, a collegian, and then as a coach at both a collegiate and high school levels as, as Jim Forbes has in his, in his uh, magnificent career? A coach that transcends the game because even when the buzzer sounds, like Tuesday at Chapin, it's his impact that's still talked about. I need everybody here from the bottom of your heart and get on your knees tonight and make sure you pray and go forward without a doubt. Yeah, that was Chapin head coach Rodney Lewis taking the microphone at the scores table following that game tonight. I'm told Forbes is progressing by day. Yesterday there was good news in terms of progress at the hospital, but everyone in the community rooting for Forbes. Adrian Ochoa has those game highlights from the Northeast. Anderson Chapin, you don't want to miss those because those Eagles came out playing inspired. Chapin, the best team in the city. This was just a one-point game at halftime, the, the highlights, you, you're not going to want to miss those. I know Doppler Dave dialed into the local scene, guys. <laughs> Good to see that. Good update, though, Nate. And uh, you know what? I, I'm going to call it now. I think the highlight of the night is what we saw at the end there, taking that moment to address the crowd and everyone coming together, showing it's, some unity there. It's such a big rivalry. So for them to stand united on this one important moment, it, it really means a lot. Well, as Nate mentioned, Doppler Dave is here yeah. now with our look at storm track weather. Doppler? Yeah, and prayers for uh, Coach Forbes. Absolutely. What a uh, great coach he is. Yeah.